Welcome to my channel. This is Karen from Vintage Elegance Inspiration. I am sharing my summer journal collection series and this is number five. I have named this one Autumn Rose and she features a beautiful brocade tapestry cover, this sweet little wrap skirt that's all sparkly and a vintage flower a little stack of ephemera that I've included, a booklet, and journaling tag, and a lace card. So this is the lace card for, for um, Autumn Rose. That is Ellen Con lace at the bottom, and a beautiful custom dyed applique by Nikki from Ravioli Dreams, some graphic 45 paper, backed onto parchment paper. And this journaling card, I love this one's probably my favorite in this series. These are, are by Vicki Niesing from Adora Australia. I don't think you can get them anymore. I bought them a long time ago and finally using them on this series because this series features young ladies rather than vintage ladies. Avocado dyed paper that I've done and just a little booklet with special papers for extra journaling space. Handy to take with you if you're going out and about. So her cover is completely, or the wrap skirt, pardon me, is completely removable. You can take it off uh, if you wanna do some serious journaling or you wanna take it somewhere and you don't want it to be so bulky or you wanna move it to a different journal altogether. You can do that as well. So these wrap skirts that I have come up with have a vintage lace band, support band, and then I attach the sari ribbon onto the sides by stitching it on, and then just several layers of lace. This is actually not vintage lace on the bottom. This is April Cornell lace that I bought in Vermont. And this is vintage ruffle lace here. And then this is a piece of vintage collar or something that I had. And I cut it up into several pieces. And it's got all that bling on it. The sequins and the pearls. Just so beautiful. I just thought it made a really lovely accent piece for these, these journals. Now this cover I had made way back in March. Maybe even February. And at the time I had... Um, punch the eyelets in here because I had some wool fibers as the closure tie but then I decided to go a different direction so I just pulled those out and basically just covered them up. These are beautiful mother of pearl flower buttons that I got from Susie. She has them in her shop at Mary Not Martha on Etsy and they are just so sweet. I absolutely love them. Beautiful tapestry brocade fabric. That I've just surged around the edge and attached it to the craft X base. Very easy to make. And the beads on this one are have a little bit more of a gray um, and then a little bit of a darker colored um, hmm, terracotta peachy pinky kind of blush tone with that big quartz stone. I just love them. Love these beads and these dangles. So she has 21 pages, so 84 page sides. She is eight and a half by five and a half inches wide. And her name again is Autumn Rose. And what I liked about that description was the Autumn Rose is an upright, large flowered hybrid tea rose, which produces flowers in a mixture of apricot and gold with flushes of red at the tips of the petals. Can't you just imagine it? Autumn Rose is an attractive, early maturing, red-skinned, white-fleshed variety. Beautiful journaling card made from digitals by Orosina. A tall tag or journaling card made with vintage wallpaper, vintage um, hand-stitching book page, vintage music page, some stamping using sand pools, um, stamp set and die cut of a wildflower and the chiffon ribbon tag topper vintage lace and then i've got this beautiful artisan paper inside that i've 
attached using just one piece uh, without cutting it at all. And this type of paper is beautiful for doing that. Not all of it is. Sometimes it will buckle, but this one was beautiful. And I've got this, like I said, uh, vintage lace pocket tuck spot. And the images here on the right hand side are of these sweet young girls. Journaling card backed onto Tim Holtz paper. Red, the pink, the orange. I think they all go together beautifully. And because this is one is named Autumn Rose, I went for more of the autumn colors, the rusty, orangey, the greeny, bronzy colors. And just a collaged pocket on the side here with a sweet little vintage girl. Some Bible page. The Taming of the Shrew book page from Shakespeare. Washi sticker. This is coffee dyed paper that is speckled with gold metallic paint. Some beautiful embossed paper that I purchased. I didn't do that myself. Just so delicate. Some Stamperia cardstock there and you can use that as a tuck spot. In fact, we'll just tuck that right in there. It's a button card and some beautiful vintage lace on the side. Again, this has some some creams, but it has also quite a bit of blush on the uh, vintage lace edge pages. I've got some pretty pink colored uh, dangling lace here on embossed um, parchment paper. And then I've made another one of these envelope flaps with it's got the embroidery on there and then the scalloped edge of the the handkerchief just hangs over the uh, fold and the edges of the flap so sweetly i've tucked in some extra um, matching paper for journaling and then applied a blush colored applique from susie's collection that she's done for me and st stitched on with pink blush pink thread this is another gorgeous book that I have um, from, I think it's one of the Victoriana books. And this one was on the seasons. So I chose a few pages from Autumn and it had the beautiful blush pink border. So I thought it went so beautifully with, with um, this journal. I'm also not a cat lover, but I chose that because of the wool, wool fibers in there. Just so beautiful in those colors just poems about autumn. Some of my avocado dyed paper and another tuck spot on this side. Vintage lace pocket with a tag that I've done some texture paste stenciling. Vintage or antique lace vintage button and some metallic embroidery floss and then this is a, a distressed journaling card that I've made from Edith Holden book page backed onto parchment paper for extra writing space. Beautiful blush colored vintage lace. Some stamping. I love this um, design, all the scrolls and the almost looks like toile. It's just so beautiful. A gorgeous applique with pearls and sequins. That's custom dyed blush by Susie. Extra um, journaling space. This was actually a mini folder, but I just used it as book page and tucked it in here for some extra writing. Um, Elizabeth Browning poetry music page, all vintage. Some beautiful, um, that is fussy cut flowers. That is not a sticker. And a deconstructed earring that I've made into some bead dangles for paper clips. And in this lace pocket, I've added a few journaling cards. I've got the Niagara Falls postcard and a vintage envelope from 1940 postmark. Just a Tim Holtz journaling card. 
And then another journaling card that I've made using Kim Holt paper and one of the images from the kit. So beautiful. I guess I had this here. On this side, I've just added a little tiny tuck spot with a Vintage Girl journaling card and a bit of fussy cutting flowers. Beautiful um, vintage lace trim. I've used pink stitching in this journal and most of this whole collection. Some crisp apples from this uh, Victoriana book page about autumn. Green parchment paper, line journal paper. And then I've got a, uh, a tag with some vintage French book page, some cheesecloth, image of a little girl, vintage girl, some antique trim, and the green crinkled seam binding with these beautiful, colorful vintage buttons that I love to use. And tea dyed index card. And on this side, I've got a tall tag with an image from Chapter One Papers, Antique Florals, um, some collaging, and a little note, piece of note paper there. All these eclectic colors I just love. Some beautiful blush lace trim and stamping. The center of this journal, I chose the month of October for Edith Holden book page because that to me is autumn. And these are the beads. I think I showed you a close up in the very beginning. Beads and dangles that I love to make. With a bit of crinkled seam binding, tied a tiny little bow on it. Some more beautiful vintage lace. This image I love. I just love it. The colors are just so pretty. On this side, I've got a belly band or a pocket with vintage trim and a die cut border on that pocket some a journaling card and a tag from the kit with that beautiful girl some more of this beaded dangle and then another little tuck spot here line journal page green parchment paper book page about autumn some stamping, beautiful vintage lace, and a beautiful blush colored vintage lace pocket. I've added some more of this lovely um, scrapbook paper in this color. I just love it. It just says autumn to me. So beautiful. Uh, one of these index cards with the crinkled seam binding, some antique lace trim, vintage French book page, some cheesecloth, and a sweet little image of that girl. All giving you extra journaling space. Another beautiful washi sticker on this side of the vintage music paper. Some of the poetry by Elizabeth Browning. And here's one of these special um, inspirational idea pockets that I learned from Marlene from Uniquely Ella. You just take the papers and stitch all around it. This pocket, you tuck something up it. And this pocket, you can put things in here. And then it's got this pocket that goes all the way down. And then the very top, you can put something tall in there. So I've added all these extra little pieces. They're so fun to make. I just love what they look like. It's very clever of her. Um, it's a tag from the kit that I've added some texture paste, um, stenciling, some gold ink embossing powder, and then uh, antique lace, a uh, mother pearl vintage button, and the metallic threads. I just love that. I've said it before, but every time I try and put in a little card or piece of ephemera for a tuck spot, I try and design it so that you can just see their little eyes peeking out. I just think it's so sweet. There's this beautiful, beautiful paper again. I just love that design. Some beautiful vintage lace on the page edge and some stamping. 
tag from the kit that I've embellished and collaged. One of Sheila's beautiful embroidered embellished trims that I've made into a lace swatch tag. Avocado dyed lace and some artisan paper. Pink and red together, pink and red and orange. How beautiful is that? And a little bit of plum. I just love making these. They're so fun, quick and easy. Avocado dyed paper, a short little flap page, some stamping, and some vintage eyelet cotton insert lace. And I've added the crinkled seam binding on that side. This page is a flip out of the coffee dyed gold splattered, metallic gold splattered paper, um, some vintage French poetry, and a tag made from the kit papers. I've just collaged a few things together here. And then we've got this other side of the book page, the Shakespeare, with a beautiful washi sticker, Bible page, and this vintage doily. I've attached a little dangle with some pearl blingy stuff. A small journaling card. Edith Holden book page that I've distressed and added parchment paper to for extra journaling space. And some lined journaling paper. Coming towards the end of this one, we've got a beautiful little pocket here with this sweet girl. These are the only vintage ladies in the whole collection. And some stamping, that's actually of a Magnolia stamp. Got some extra journaling cards, Tim Holt paper, and the uh, chapter one, I think it's chapter one, vintage invoices. It's either that or Lorna Taylor's Taylor Made Journals paper. I've got it'll all be on the list that I'm going to have below in the description box. And then another tall journaling card that I've made using vintage uh, stitching book, vintage wallpaper, vintage music paper, some stamping, and a die cut, and then the beautiful chiffon ribbon at the top. And there's a closer look at the artisan paper. It's got the fibers and the, the um, petals and everything in there. It's just so beautiful. I love to use it. It works out really well. And that is the end of this journal, which is Autumn Rose. So I hope you've enjoyed looking inside. Thank you for listening to me tell all about it and for staying with me through this uh, summer journal collection. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you like the journal. Hope you have a lovely afternoon. Thank you for watching.